What is going on guys? Welcome back to the HannahCast YouTube channel and today we're going to be reacting to the Razzie Award winners. Uh, like if you don't know, the Razzies are apparently the opposite of the Oscars where instead of honoring the best movies of the year, they honor the so-called worst movies of the year. And honestly, you probably shouldn't be taking them seriously. This year was very weird for the Razzies because they got like a ton of backlash for nominating the fire starter girl for worst actress. And like, the, like everyone's like, hell no, you don't do that. Uh, and apparently that just caused the Razzie to completely change the rules for it's like kids can't be nominated for Razzies, which again, that, that, it, it was crazy. But regardless, uh, let's watch the winners for, the, or at least I guess, will this be the ceremony of sorts? I guess it would, of the 43rd Razzie Awards. Also, if you want to support me, uh, consider leaving a uh, super thanks or becoming a member of the channel. Just when you thought it was safe to go back to the Razzies. Welcome to the 43rd annual Razzie. All right. IndieWire calls the winner for worst supporting actor. Okay, worst supporting actor. Evan Williams in Blonde, Pete Davidson in Good Morning. Mod Sun and Good Morning, Tom Hanks and Elvis, and Xavier Samuel for Blonde. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Tom Hanks. Deliciously awful. A Kentucky Fried Gold member. The only thing that matters. Yep, it's Tom Hanks. He wasn't even, I didn't even think he was that bad in Elvis. In Elvis. For remake, rip-off, or sequel, the Hollywood Reporter calls... Remake, rip-off, or sequel, the nominees are Blonde, 365 Days This Day, Pinocchio, Jurassic World Dominion, and Firestarter. I'm willing to bet it's Pinocchio, probably. The next winner, just another widget in Disney's remake. Yep, all it's widget. Pinocchio. One big happy... But it's not a theatrical release, so that shouldn't really count. Deplorable, misogynistic, and exploitative. Oh well, I guess I know who the win what the winner's going to be here. The winner for worst screenplay. Uh, there's Blonde, Pinocchio, Morbius, Jurassic World, Dominion, and Good Morning. But if I heard misogynistic, it's probably going to be Blonde. A trip to the I, I read the script. Yep. And honestly, not very, very kind of deserving in my opinion. It, it's very deserving of this. Strange, disturbing story. Worst screenplay goes to Andrew Dominic for Blonde. Yeah. Scattershot and auspicious. Okay, best or uh, worst director, Andrew Dominic in Blonde, Machine Gun Kelly and Mod Son in Good Morning, Judd Apatow for The Bubble, Robert Zemeckis for Pinocchio, and Daniel Espinoza for Morbius. I would probably, s out of these, probably pick Andrew Dominic, although I've only seen Blonde, Pinocchio, and Morbius, but I'm assuming maybe Andrew Dominic? His directorial debut. Snipe Cinema Law, MGK, aka Colson Baker and Mod Son. Ah, Machine Gun Kelly and Mod Son for Good Morning. For supporting actress. For supporting actress, the nominees being Adria Arjona in Morbius, Penelope Cruz in the 355, Bing Bing someone else for the 355 and the King's Daughter. Lorraine Bracco and Pinocchio and Mira Sorvingo in the Lamborghini. I have no idea. Maybe the King's Daughter girl. Peter Travers of ABC poked fun at this performance, calling it barely lukewarm. This better not be my last one. Adria Arjona in Morbius. Get out. She wasn't even that bad. The Hollywood Reporter character. Worst screen combo. Uh, Tom Hanks says latex accent and Elvis Machine Gun Kelly and Mod Son and Good Morning, both the three three hundred sixty five days sequels. Uh, Andrew Dominic and his issues with women in Blonde and both real life characters in the fictitious White House bedroom scene Blonde. I'm assuming maybe Andrew Dominic. Is this vulcanized portrayal as a creepy beady eyed lech peering out from under a mountain of latex? Really? Not. Tom Hanks, his latex, and his action in Elvis. Tom Hanks, again, I don't think he was that bad in Elvis. I don't get this. Worst actor. It's gonna be... 
All right, we have Colson Baker, a.k.a. Machine Gun Kelly, and Good Morning. Jared Leto and Morbius, Pete Davidson for Marmaduke, Sylvester Stallone for Samaritan, and Tom Hanks for Pinocchio. I'm assuming it's going to be Jared Leto because he's Hollywood's punching bag. Absurdly seriously, states the Irish Times. Jared Leto wins a Razzie for a second year in a row. Yeah. This time for lead Mo he wasn't even Morbius. bad in Morbius. In what way was he bad in Morbius? Razzie Redeemer Award from a moment's misstep to a monumental state of salvation. From that, oh, from oh, so Colin Farrell. Oh wait, oh what? Oh, so it's okay. So we have so far the nominees. We have Colin Farrell f f uh, in the for Colin Farrell going from. Uh, Alexander to Benji to Benji and uh, what's his name? Mark Wahlberg from Transformers to Father Stu. Uh, ooh, Val Kilmer from the Island of Dr. Moreau to Val. Wait, Val came out 2021, not 2022. I don't think. Did it? Rosie Redeemer Award goes to, oh, Colin Farrell. You do like me. I don't. You liked me yesterday. Oh, did I? Yeah. For nominating someone that should not have been considered. A blood. Well, the Razzies worst act for worst actress. The Razzies for forty third actress nominee blunder. Sylvester Stallone and Requin. Diane Keaton for Mac and whatever. Blaze Howard Howard for Jurassic World Dominion. And Kaya Scolario for the King's Daughter. Wait. Blender that was put through the blender and pulverized from <coughs> one corner of the internet to the other and all media in between. Instead of handing out a worst actress statuette this year, we're giving this Razzie to the Razzies. Uh, really? Uh, well, what can we say? We earned this Razzie. And on behalf of young, old, and all artists still in development stages, we know the process of growing means trying things out, stumbling, picking ourselves up, and making better choices. A process that can take a lifetime. So, until our next mistake, cheers. The Atlanta Reporter. That, okay, that's weird. Called this year's worst picture. Worst picture. Pinocchio, Blonde, Good Morning, The King's Daughter, and Morbius. It's probably going to be Morbius because, it's ever, again, it's everyone's punching bag. A showy exercise in exploitation and fellacious storytelling. Oh, a blonde? Well, Rivera Rubio dubbed it trauma porn. <coughs> I, I'm not going to complain. Mo uh, blonde was pretty despicable and morally wrong in every respect. I don't know why they just had to drop the worst actress this year category altogether. Um, I get, like, whatever. Uh, but, like, I'm not surprised. Bl I thought it was actually going to be Morbius, but Blonde ended up actually winning. Uh, again, I'm not surprised. It was, again, it's a pretty despicable film. Uh, just, like, literally making up a bunch of garbage for, like, no reason whatsoever. Now the question goes to you. What are your thoughts on this year's Razzie winners? Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, and also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. And like I said, please consider sending a super thanks or uh, becoming a member of the channel. I will be live streaming my reaction to the Oscars uh, on Sunday morning. No, no, I mean Sunday evening, I should say. And if you want to see more, click this.